In the last health report, it indicated there were 28 active cases of COVID-19 in Hopkinton. Health Director Sean McAuliffe talked about where those cases are coming from currently. So what, we, what we've seen, the, the trend over the last couple of weeks has been um, that the majority of cases are popping up in um, children under the age of 20. Um, those cases, it, it, it's, they're a little skewed because you've got um, a couple um, sport-related illnesses um, where, um, you know, there's, there's been a hockey, there's a cheer slash gymnastics. Um, well, there have been exposures in cheer and g- gymnastics and hockey. And in those cases, um, multiple people in the family um, have uh, tested positive. Um, and then in those families, there have been um, a number of um, children in the family. So that we're seeing a, um, a slightly increased number of younger um, people contracting the illness. Um, and then we've had a couple exposures related to uh, one was related to travel. Um, and then I think there were two workplace exposures that, that led to um, children at home um, res- uh, testing positive. So in all those cases, um, again, we're, we're seeing more uh, young people getting ill. Um, we, we have not seen any trends, any disturbing trends in the school. Um, uh, we, we did have our first case of uh, in-school transmission about a, a little over a week ago. Um, and we are, um, we're working with the DPH um, to, to further investigate um, that exposure. Because um, one of the things that, you know, everybody's been talking about variants and I, um, I was just, actually right before we came on, I was um, emailing back and forth with the uh, head epidemiologist at the DPH to see if um, we might be able to pick a few cases here or there over the next couple of weeks to have those um, those tests um, analyzed to s- see if there are any variants present in, um, say, the Hopkinton positive pool. Um, because I think that would be helpful. Um, we know that the British variant is um, present in Worcester County, in Middlesex County, and it's in the Boston area. So it's reasonable um, to assume that it is making its way between Worcester and Boston and will be impacted in the uh, not too distant future. But there, there was a, a significant outbreak um, at a uh, a Milford sporting comp- uh, sporting complex, and the fact that there were over twenty cases that came out of that one facility um, gave the health directors um, some concern because you don't normally see that number of um, positives come out of a um, a younger population. So that's uh, that's one uh, grouping that. Um, the group of the, the group of health directors have requested additional uh, analysis for.